When superstar Paul McCartney wanted a custom pair of sneakers, he turned to a Lexington man to create them. Billy Hobbs painted these shoes for the former Beatles front man, but his big break came from shoes he custom painted for a former UK basketball star who's now in the NBA. Uh, when I was when I was young, uh, of course, like any other kid growing up in the 80s, I was a sneakerhead. I love Michael Jordan, you know, the Air Jordans, the uh, the Kentucky Dunks, which was huge. Like I remember watching Kenny Walker wear those and I was like my childhood a hero, you know, rocking a Nike Dunk. Uh, you know, growing up, I was always into shoes. I was always into art. Um, and then I finally probably early 2000s, I kind of got into uh uh, a couple little message boards like sneaker message boards and started doing a few custom work here and there but it wasn't really as prevalent as it is now and then fast forward to probably 2010 2011 uh, my son i created a, a a monster with him with sneakers so i started doing stuff for him and then uh it snowballed from there uh, one of my buddies wanted me to restore a pair of uh, old air jordans for him and i'm like sure i can do that so i did it and he was like um actually his name's jamie um, he was like, Hey, you need to start an Instagram page and build you, you know, it'd be a little side hustle. And I'm like, yeah, that'd be cool. So I did that. And then the local following started. And then, uh, Willie reached out, Willie Colley Stein, uh, Tyler Uless, uh, the twins. I started doing stuff for those guys, Alex Poitras, and then the rest is history. <laughs> was there a moment where, you know, you said, Oh my gosh, I've made it like, like where it kind of exploded it was actually there was there was one moment it was actually in the um the 38 and one year the 38 and 0 year we don't talk about the one loss um i did a bunch of stuff for willie that year <clears throat> and going into the the playoff or the the tournament he uh he wanted a, a something crazy which you know willie's got a, a a great you know he's really out there he's like real eccentric he loves being flashy so we based a pair of uh, air jordan 11s on a pair that ray allen wore uh, a couple years prior that was like a, they call it the trophy ceremony. So in our minds, it was like, you're going to wear these. We're going to go undefeated. We're winning the national championship. So, and they were gold, um, like bright gold. I dyed the soles blue and uh, he wore them. I believe it was on a Thursday night. And I think my Instagram, I had two or 3000 followers. You know, it wasn't crazy. It was mostly local. He wore those in a game and then dunked on uh, the, the kid from Cincinnati that nobody's heard from since. <laughs> and, <laughs> It went viral that night. I woke up the next morning and had like 10,000 followers on Instagram. Uh, my email inbox was blown up. And at that point, my wife and I kind of sat down and was like, this, I could make a living out of this. Let's figure out what we want to do. And uh, the rest is history. I, I quit my job at Pepsi not long after that. And uh, uh, Pepsi of like 12 years. And, you know, jumped head first and started doing sneakers. <laughs> so... <laughs> So yeah, I owe a lot of that to Willie. Willie's my boy, and we're, you know we still keep in touch. I still do a, a ton of stuff for him now that he's in the league. And uh, but you know I thank him all the time. I was like Th that pair of shoes blew it up for me. So that was that was always cool. Who are some of the other famous people, the familiar names that we might recognize that you've made shoes for? Oh, of course, Coach Cal, um, Andre Reed, which is a Hall of Famer from the uh, the Buffalo Bills. I did a, a cool pair for him that we auctioned off for charity. Um, when pre-COVID, uh, of course, Rep Arena, they have a, uh, like, they do artist gifts. And their thing was, it kind of turned into their thing, was uh, custom sneakers. So I've done shoes for Snoop, uh, Justin Timberlake, uh, Thomas Rhett, uh, Paul McCartney. Like, uh, my daughter, it's funny, my daughter is a huge Beatles fan, and she, you know, she's 16 years old, and I'm like, you'd realize I did a pair of shoes for Paul McCartney. And she's like, oh my gosh, really? And I'm like, I, it doesn't click with me sometimes. I'm like, man, that that is pretty cool. But you know, Hamadou Diallo wore a pair of mine in the dunk contest and jumped over Shaq. That was surreal. And of course, the last couple of years with baseball, like Fernando Tatis, which is huge in the uh, majors right now. Trevor Bauer, which played up in Cincinnati last year. Um, I've done a ton of stuff for those guys. But yeah, the, the list keeps going, and I always forget how many how many guys I've done stuff for. You know, it's just like wow. You know, I forgot about that one. <laughs> You have your studio there in your home yeah. in yeah. Lexington. And so, you know, what what is the process like that you go through? Like, how long does it take from start to finish to do these works of art? It just depends. Um, like some some of the cleats I'm doing right now, um, if they get into portrait work and stuff like that, it can, la it can go anywhere from three hours to 15 hours in a pair. 
Um, so it kind of, it kind of, you know, what I'll, what I'll do a lot of times I'll come in here and I'll go in with an idea in my head. Um, I never really do mock-ups or anything because when I do, it never turns out the way that I initially thought. So once I get into the shoe, I start thinking, okay, what works here? What works there? And, uh, I get in the zone and, you know, except sometimes I've spent upwards of 20 some hours on pairs before. And I'm like, I just got paid minimum wage <laughs> to, to work on this pair of shoes. But, you know, some of those are the, are my favorites because you get into it and the, and the, the client lets you have creative expression. You do, they let, they trust me to do my thing. And, you know, it's, I've been blessed with it. It's been a blast. I mean, it's stressful. It's probably the most stressful job I've ever had, but uh, I always tell people the hardest part is walking past my couch <laughs> into my into my studio. But once I get in here, I'm good. I'm good. So people who are watching this, I mean, is it something where, you know, uh, can they get these shoes done as well? We mentioned all the yeah. famous people, but, you know, yeah. who, are, who are your customers? You know, what's funny is like everybody always wants to talk about the famous people because it is that is a cool part of it. And it is a little surreal to see your work on. Like I've had a pair of, of cleats in the World Series before, you know, and it's like, that's it's surreal as an artist to be able to say, you know what, that guy trusts me to do his stuff and he's in the World Series wearing them, you know. But the everyday people, I mean, I do so much stuff for like like charity work, uh, stuff for kids. Those are like some of my favorites, you know, um, graduations, any kind of gift like that. I mean, I did a pair for um, DH from Country Boy Brewing last year and it was and they were super cool and it was all based around the beer and had all the names of their beers on it you know stuff like that little projects like that are always the coolest to me you know because i feel like a lot of those guys probably appreciate it a little more you know than somebody who's making 10 million dollars a year that can get anything they want you know so but yeah it's that those are my favorite ones like kids i do a ton of cleats for kids uh, my daughter's softball team we actually start summer ball next week and i've got 10 pairs of cleats over here i've got to do for all of our girls so like I enjoy that stuff, I, I love it, and that's that's probably my favorite part. How can people contact you? How can they learn more about True Blue Customs? You can go to my website. It's uh, trueblue dot trueblueky dot com, or you can find me on Instagram or Facebook uh, or Twitter at True Blue Customs.